I'm gonna whip up a paintbrush holder. There's two of them. It's great for the middle and the back. And this is what I'm gonna use for the inside. And I've got it cut to the same width. And this is how I'm gonna do it. So for my fabric on my back and in the middle, I'm going to kind of look at it and see it's got a grain to it, so you've got to decide which way you want that grain to So I do a three inch binding. You fold it over it, that's a one and a half. You fold that over itself again. And it leaves you with about a half inch to rotate. And that's exactly where I'm gonna make this mark first. double stitch right in each of these start of these pockets and probably all pockets because that's going to have a lot of pull. Stitching right on the fold. So I like my little flap, but I decided that it wasn't long enough because if I have brushes down here, it's not really going to cover it. So I made a bigger one. Right sides together, whatever fabric you choose to back it with. Give it a 
します。Inside fabric, the interfacing fabric to show. So I'm going to kind of be mindful of where my seam is. Alrighty, and now I can work on the binding. So I want my binding on the sides, that's why I moved in my flap a little bit. And to finish up, what I've done is I put the buttonhole right in the middle of my binding. I'm going to go ahead and cut it so that it lays flat. Suede ties are right here, and I'm going to put my binding on right here. Pull these little place. my fabric over itself, bring it right back down, make sure that these line up. Do that a little better. And you should just get a nice point. two pieces of binding. I'm going to check my seam allowance. I'm going to cut my top piece that much longer than my bottom piece.
place and you go ahead and attach it to your project. So my paintbrush holder is all done. You just roll it up. Merry Christmas, Mary. Share the inspiration because life is a journey we make.